But there's so many words we're using now because of social media that we just really shouldn't be using. Like I was face raped not too long ago. Anyone here been face raped? That's like half the audience. Yes, there's a lot of face raping. Again, go back before Facebook and listen to the insanity of this situation. So I was face raped recently. Anyone here been face raped? Oh, we know what he's talking about. The thing is, face rape has got to be the most intense word ever created for the most innocent thing you could ever do. I like Mary. He doesn't actually like Mary. I'm face raping him. But the scary thing about the word face rape is that eventually it's just going to be called rape. Because that's what kids do. They shorten things. What is up? What's up? Sup. Facebook rape, face rape, rape. In England, they say fraped. They're one letter off. They're one letter off a world in which it's totally normal to hear this. Oh my God, did you hear? Timmy was raped, it was hilarious. Terry did it, he's so good at raping. Out of all the rapists I know, he's certainly the best. That's a messed up world. Imagine living in that kind of a world, someone actually gets raped, they come to you crying like, oh my God, it was awful. Uh, actually, I've been raped like five times before. And I handled it way better than you. But just the word face rape on its own is so freaking intense. I would say that for most people over the age of, I don't know, 60-ish, face rape means raping a face. Then I have like 16-year-old girls coming home from school. Hey, honey, how was your day? Oh, whatever, I was like, face rape, I... That's traumatic shit. We gotta calm down in the word, that's all I'm saying. <laughs>